Hey there, everybody. This is Potter Brown, and welcome to another Bind Reaction of Final Fantasy VII Machine Abridged, episode number 28, presented by Team Four Star. Okay, uh, yep, just going to jump right into it, but before that, as always, be sure to support the official release. The link to the original video is in the description below. And let's just get it started and see what they've got in store for us. And, starting the video in three, two, one. And go. Gentlemen, I think I speak for us all when I say that this situation has done us all. Especially. True. I hate flying! <laughs> she's really well, she's tough for her. other reasons. Yeah, me. We're all in this together now. There ain't no getting out of this train. So if y'all got any suggestions. Actually, I. Suggestions that aren't from people who work for Shinra. <laughs> Trust me, Garrett, I think you're gonna wanna hear what the people from Shinra are talking about. I'm glad you're all here. Hold on, is that Rufus Shinra? Yep, I'm spying on him right now. Shut the f up, I'm trying to listen. Now, before we get started, I'd like to know. Did you lose weight, Uncle Palmer? I know, he looks great. <laughs> Every pilot is in on the conspiracy. Now then, I must confess something to all of you. Just my goal unimportant way. was one of selfishness. I continued Naturally. my father's quest to find the promised land, not to honor him, but to spite him. To do the one thing he couldn't do, and to prove to him, myself, and everyone else that I know how to run an empire. With 36 trillion gil in debt. But after the incident <laughs> with the weapon, and almost meeting my untimely demise, it's made me realize something. It's time Shinra changes its course of operation. And that starts with ending our first ever Shin Flicks original series. You did jump nice. the shock after season six, huh? This might be the concussion talking, but that's a great idea, Rufus. Shinra needs to end its ridiculous venture in new media and return to its roots as a world conquering international corporate enterprise. I doubt that's what he's saying, Cloak. Oh, Shinra's not going to conquer the world, Scarlet. We are going to save it. What? 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 I'm glad you asked, Uncle Palmer. <laughs> We're going to use huge materia. To blast Meteor into smithereens, and when the people see that it was Shinra that saved them, they'll look at us as, as gods. Heroes. I mean, heroes, yes. Hey, don't we already got a bunch of huge material? <laughs> Indeed, we do, Heidegger, but having more wouldn't hurt. Scarlet, I'm putting you in charge of gathering the remaining huge material from Fort Condor and Corel. I trust you'll ask them nicely. Oh, don't worry, Mr. President. Yeah, I'll make even the sure huge material wouldn't have helped. Ruthlessly polite as possible. So guess what? He's about to steal it. <laughs> wow. Sounds like Shinra's actually gonna save the world. We gotta stop them! What? Why? Using the materia to blow up Meteor actually sounds like a pretty good idea. What part of blasting a high amount of unstable energy into our atmosphere sounds like a good idea to you? Blowing <laughs> up. Plus, they want to <laughs> and that giant bird that totally ended up not being pointless. And if they want to, my hometown and Red's unexplained fascination with that giant bird at Fort Condor, I just think it's hot. Then it's TikTok, my day asses. And when the alarm goes off, they're gonna wake up to an avalanche of justice led by me. Yo, the hell makes you think you're qualified to lead avalanche time? The f is an avalanche time. Did this motherfucker? He did. Look. I come from a long line of sins, and even though most of us are different in some way, there's one thing we all have in common. Her name. That's when things get tough, sins get shit done. Or if you want to find someone else to fly you anywhere, be my fucking guest. Fine, whatever, you're the leader, shit. Now before we head off, <laughs> I'm gonna go make myself a nice hot cup of goddamn... How the f*** vomited on the poop deck? If he's mad now, wait till he sees what I left on the vomit deck. <laughs> yeah, the intro hadn't even played yet. It's more than a third done. Alright. Shin hitting two places at once, so we're gonna need to split up. We always knew that one day. For a split second, I was thinking, wow, that was a quick episode. But no, that was, that was the intro. Shinra. Today. Is that day? 
Don't worry, Commander. I'm giving you my best squad to help you out. We are forever grateful to both you and the skilled tacticians you have lent us. Oh, look, we need some micromanic <laughs> resources. They need to be put in proper places. You've doomed them all. Here's the game plan, boys. While Baird and I are inside the reactor fucking shit up, Red will be sniffing out the huge materia. Once that son bitch is ours, we get the hell out of here and blow this mother sky high. I like the way you think, Sid. This plan seems a tad confuzzling. Why would we look for the huge materia inside the reactor when it was on that train that just passed by? What? <laughs> Why did you tell me? I was enthralled by your swears. Damn it! There ain't no getting on that train now! Unless this calls for speed. What kind of speed? Avalanche speed! Avalanche speed! Avalanche speed fucking sucks! Did you take your foot off the avalanche brake? Great question! There are no brakes on the avalanche train! Now, we're just gonna sneakily jump on board. Avalanche train! train. You guys shut up before they hear us! Intruders! Mother Sorry, but we ain't getting off this train. Fine by me. Nothing's gonna stop this train from reaching Ah, my life! That was some fast thinking, thinking <laughs> of the only guy who knows how to control this train. <sighs> we gotta stop this train before it reaches Karao! <laughs> What'll happen if we don't stop it? Maybe brakes on an avalanche train is a good idea. God damn it, I'm a rocket scientist, not a train scientist! I don't know how these controls work! It's just like you said, Barrett. There ain't no getting this train off. You get points for trying. <laughs> I don't know what to do. There's one thing you can do, Sid. Believe. Believe in what? Everest time, motherfucker! Uh. Barrett, did y'all just save our town from becoming a literal ass train wreck? I guess we did. We'll just grab what we need and be on our way. Oh, no, 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 baby. You ain't going nowhere. Because we like to see you stop him. something. We fucked up. We're sorry for the way we yeah. treated you, Barrett. Years ago, we all wanted Shinra to build a Mako reactor here. So we're all at fault. We want you to have this as a way of saying sorry. What is it? Something everyone's been waiting for. Bahamut Hops 3 Remind. We'll, we'll take, take it. it. Now I'm even more <laughs> confused. I promise y'all, we're gonna take care of Media and save the planet. Just like Don would have wanted. Man, f that Media. We're miners. We just dig ourselves deep enough and Media won't even hit us. Digging your own graves? Great idea. Ooh, that sounded like something Mark would say. Yeah, it does. I wonder how they're doing. I'm starting to think that today was not the day. What do you mean, it is? Farewell, old friend. Fate has claimed you. But you leave behind a heroic legacy and a beautiful child. <laughs> Bitch. Mission Dude. accomplished, y'all. Personally, I think we could have done a better job at Fort Condor. Yeah, now what are they gonna do with that giant baby bird? Not eat it? Look, what matters is that we got the huge material before those numbskulls at Shinra. And now, there's just one thing left to do. Hey. Hey. So, uh, we stopped Shinra from stealing some huge materia. Barrett really wanted to show it to you guys. It's larger than average! Uh, well, <laughs> seems like you're doing fine without us. Look, Tifa, I, I can't do this alone. I know he's your friend, but... Don't, Sid. Okay? Just... This, all of this, everything, it's, it's because of me. Okay? It's my fault. And, and what? You guys just gonna sit here and wait till Meteor comes and kills both of y'all? I'm not leaving Cloud's side. I'm gonna stay with him till the end. Uh, the end might come sooner than expected! I missed this dream. Cloud, did you just... What the hell is going on out there? Sweet Dracoon on a cracker, it's a goddamn earthquake! We gotta get the hell out of here! But what about Cloud? Grab him! Come on, we gotta hurry! This whole place is about to fall apart. We have to get out of here. No can do. 
I made a Hippocratic oath that whenever things turn sideways bad, I'll go down with the ship. Isn't that for captains? And now you know why I'm such a bad doctor. <laughs> Crowdish, I, I know you're scared. But I'm gonna do you a solid and protect you. No matter what. See you in hell! Doing the solid, yep. Have fun on your internal trip to heal him. Alright, here we go. There's the end. And it's an actual shirt, because why not? Alright, so. That was Final Fantasy VII Machine Abridged, episode number 28 from Team Four Star. Uh, yeah, entertaining, as always. Should be interesting to see how they handle the whole uh, spiritual quest to heal Cloud's mind. And what the relationship between him and Tiff Tif will be like afterwards. How that's going to go in this. Should be fun. Well. Yeah, they also have to go to space a little bit. Uh, ride the rocket up, which will not do anything to Meteor anyway. Even with the Materion, it pro I don't think it would have done anything. But, I want to thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. And I'm going to end this one here. Until next time. Take care. <laughs>